Disneyland, Tupac, and Boeing are all on this day. Hey, welcome back to On This Day. Today's date is June 16th. It is the 168th day of the year. There's only 198 days left in 2020. It's also the 24th Tuesday of the year. Today's International Day of Family Readmittance. This observance is recognized by the United Nations and it aims to bring recognition to the contributions done by migrants who leave their homes to work and try and attain a better life for their families. The International Day of Family Remittance occurs every year on June 16th. All right, let's see what else June 16th has given us. Okay, so this one sucks. I'll tell you that up front. 1883. I'd never heard of this one till today. The Victoria Hall Theater panic in Sunderland, England kills 183 children. At the end of a show, an announcement was made that children with certain number of tickets would be presented a prize upon exit. This was a bad idea since an estimated 1,100 children were in the gallery and they all surged towards the staircase leading downstairs. The door at the bottom of the stairs had been bolted shut, leaving only a small gap wide enough for one child to pass at a time. Those in the front became trapped and were crushed to death by the weight of the crowd behind them. So once the adults realized what was happening, it was far too late for any of the kids. Horrible. 1903, Ford Motor Company is incorporated on June 16th. 1933, the National Industrial Recovery Act was passed in the United States. This act would authorize the president to regulate industry for fair wages and prices that would help stimulate the economy for the recovery from the Great Depression. It also established a national public works program known as the PWA. It built large-scale public works such as dams, bridges, hospitals, and schools. Its goal was to spend $3.3 billion the first year and $6 billion in total to provide employment, stabilized purchasing power, and help revive the economy. The economy needed some real reviving back then. 1963, the Soviet space program launches the first female into space. The data collected during the mission provided better understanding of how female bodies react to spaceflight. 1981, U.S. President Ronald Reagan awards the Congressional Gold Medal to Ken Taylor, Canada's former ambassador to Iran. He helped six Americans escape from Iran during the hostage crisis of 1979 to 1981. He is the first foreign citizen to get this honor. Now, if you want to see a good movie about this whole thing, it's called Argo. It's with Ben Affleck, Alan Arkin, John Goodman, Brian Cranston, and Victor Garber as Ken Taylor. 2010, Bhutan becomes the first country to institute a total ban on tobacco. 2012, the United States Air Force's robotic Boeing X-37B space plane returns to Earth after a classified 469 days orbital mission. Now, it was supposedly classified, but later the Army described it as an effort to test new space technologies. It successfully landed without a problem. Don't know what information it was really getting, but that's what they said. 2016, Shanghai Disneyland is opened. It is the first mainland China Disney park. Premiered on June 16th, Greece. With John Travolta and Olivia Newton-John, if you're a female around my age, you'd love this movie. It was a good movie. I watched it when I was a kid. I thought it was cute. I'm not into musicals, not into any of that stuff, but it was a well-done movie. And every girl I know from about my age thinks it's one of the greatest movies ever. 2002, Disney's Lilo and Stitch is released. This is another Disney movie I have watched far too many times with my kids. I get to recite most of it. That's how bad it is. Born on June 16th, 1971, Tupac Shakur, American rapper and producer. He's considered by many as one of the most significant rappers of all time. Much of his work has been noted for addressing contemporary social issues that plagued the inner city. Basically, he was telling his story in the best way he could. Died on June 16th, 1959, George Reeves dies, American actor and director. Reeves was the original Superman on the TV show Superman back in the 50s. Reeves died of a single gunshot wound to the head in the upstairs bedroom of his home in Benedict Canyon. Benedict Canyon is right by Beverly Hills. This happened between 1.30 and 2.30 a.m. on June 16, 1959, according to the Los Angeles Police Department. The police were called to the house and found his fiance Lenore Lemon, and four other people in the house. They'd all been drinking, they were partying, they were having a good time, and it took them an hour to call the police. These people were so drunk that the police actually had a hard time getting the whole story out of them. They all said they 
heard one gunshot, though. The investigation revealed that the weapon was fired three times. The bullet that killed him was recovered in the ceiling above his head, and the two others were shot into the floor. It was still ruled a suicide. Actors Alan Ladd and Gig Young, who were really good actors for their time, were reportedly very skeptical of the whole suicide thing. Reeves' close friend, Rory Calhoun, told one reporter, no one in Hollywood believes this was a suicide. All right, so that is today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you got some information out of it. Now you can go forth and enjoy your day and be productive. Everybody have a great day. Be nice to each other.